Even energy, I, just in the last couple of days, I've heard things about there's a new nuclear process that's safer and can't melt down and they're replacing the rods with little balls or something. I don't fully understand that. But also both Bezos, Musk, and I think somebody else are talking about putting these really efficient solar reactors in orbit, beaming the energy down or having data centers in space. And Elon Musk just said a couple of days ago, it was something like 100 gigawatts per year, he thinks will be, I forget, starting in a couple of years, but they'll be able to add 100 gigawatts per year of solar arrays in space with these data centers. To put that in perspective, I think the U.S. only has like 400 to 450, you know, so that'd be like 25% of the U.S., uh, 20, 25% of all U.S. production going into space, adding you know, within within a couple of years on an annual basis. So that's pretty exciting yeah. too and solves a lot of other choke point problems there. Well, if it was up to Elon, um, we would put 100% of our resources uh, into, into solar. You know, every bit of research, every bit of development should be in solar because of the absolute mass of the sun. Um, you know, yes, nuclear is 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 a is an option, but it, it can't produce um, it it can't produce as much energy as the sun, no matter how many of those things you build. So you know, his he's you know you know how he's always far to an extreme, right. but um, you know, well, if I'm bet if I'm placing a bet, I'm placing a bet over there.